Okay guys, it's that time again. Time to crack into the August 2019 Keto Crate. So let's see what we got. Uh oh, pet alert. Keto Pop contains xylitol. Keep out of reach of fur babies. The one thing that I don't understand about like people that are so like, oh my God, I can't keep xylitol in the house because like it's dangerous for pets. But I'm just like, where are you keeping your xylitol? Like there's a whole bunch of stuff in your house that's dangerous for pets. There's bleach, there's dishwashing liquid. I mean like, what is the likelihood that your pet would get into your xylitol more than they would those things? I, it's up to you, I don't mind. But like, that's just one of the things I hear is like, oh, I don't use xylitol because it's dangerous for pets. And I'm just like, but we're not pets though. Put, put it on a shelf. I don't know. I know animals get into things and everything, but you know, there's other dangerous stuff in your house. I digress. Let's move on. There's a whole bunch of papers in here. My God, this thing looks packed to the brim. We have this Keto Pop here. It is the original Keto brand, okay? Saves the craves. Okay, I do like that. Zero net carbs, zero sugar, made with 100% coconut oil. And, and lo and behold, it is coconut flavor. So is this just an oily coconut sucker? I don't know. 25 calories, three grams of fat, total carb seven, sugar alcohol seven. Jeez Louise, seven total carbs for this thing? Nope. I mean, I'll try it out one day, but I don't see myself eating that. I'll tell you that right now. Oh my gosh, shrewd food, protein crisps, strawberries and cream. Chella and I tried to get these so hard when we were at KetoCon, but they didn't have them because apparently the sweet flavors might contain some sugar. KetoCon is very selective about the types of ingredients they allow on the show floor, so they don't allow things with sugar. And I mean, looking at these, there are some pretty questionable ingredients. So uh, for this one bag, there are four total carbs and four of those are sugars, including three grams of added sugar. Eek! And I definitely see maltodextrin and cornstarch in the ingredients. Wowzers, I mean, <laughs> they're going all out uh, and, and not necessarily in a good way. I will say that's not gonna stop me from trying these. I am definitely an if it fits your macro sort of person. So I'm gonna try these and if I like them, I don't see the harm in enjoying them occasionally. All right, we got some pizza flavored almonds from Legendary Foods. You guys, that just perplexes me like, I just, I don't associate nuts with savory flavors. And I don't know if I want my almonds to taste like pepperonis. Ugh. I mean, I'm gonna try it, but like only three net carbs per serving. How many servings are in this bag though? That's what I wanna know. Okay, one bag. Okay, that's good. 18 grams of fat, eight total carbs, four fiber and one erythritol. So that's three net carbs, seven grams of protein. I mean, nuts are always great to receive in a keto crate. These are great to take on the road, great to have out as a snack. It's awesome that they are pre-portioned so you can just grab and go like, I'm gonna eat these, but still, it's just a little jarring. We have a Raw Rev Glow Bar, creamy peanut butter and sea salt. Radiance from the inside out. Oh, well look at that. One bar is 180 calories, 11 grams of fat, Total carbs, 17. Woo, that's pretty gnarly. 14 grams of fiber, jeez Louise. So that's three net carbs. God, that's a lot of fiber though. Let's see. Yeah, isomaltol, oligosaccharides, come on, IMO. Um, you know, I'd be interested in testing this to see what it does for my blood sugar, but uh, here we have a bar for on the go. Oh my gosh, keto brownies. I love these things. Keto brownie makes a product called Blondies, like th these are my favorite food, but they're like six grams of net carbs per bar. Okay, this is four grams, so maybe they changed the formula, but they are so many net carbs, but they are so good. Keto brownie, this is the brownie flavor, chocolate almond brownie, 16 grams of fat, two grams of sugar, total carbs is 19, 11 fiber, and four sugar alcohols. Uh, one bar is 216 calories. Uh, I love this, I enjoy it. Maybe I'll do a blood sugar test on this as well, but I love these. Everly Drink Mix Sample Pack, naturally sweetened and sugar-free. What are you, Everly? Everly, every time you buy a pouch of Everly, we provide a full treatment of life-saving rehydration salts to treat a child sick with waterborne disease. Wow. Uh, so I'm assuming this is just an electrolyte mix? So it says hydration drink mix. Yeah, so it says 100 milligrams of hydrating electrolytes. I mean, that's not really a lot, but I mean, I'll be interested in trying these. The flavors that are in here, pomegranate, berry, fruit punch, fruit tea, 
and peach mango. Uh-oh, seems like we're gonna have a peach mango head-to-head -head, if you know what I'm talking about, with Zip Fizz, of course. Um, I mean, I'll try these out, but I drink Zip Fizz for my electrolytes. Feel free to do whatever you'd like. I do like how these are packaged better, but still. Hashtag Team Zip Fizz. Just the cheese, crunchy toasted cheese. Yes, please. One ingredient, it's cheese. This is just like, like a parm crisp or a cheddar crisp. It's just like crunchy cheese and I'm definitely here for it. One serving per container, 12 grams of fat, less than one gram of carbs. Yeah, eight grams of protein, 150 calories. These are just great cheese snacks to have on hand. Scout Backcountry Organic Roasted Pumpkin Seeds Pepitas Spicy Texas Chili. Oh my gosh, I bet this is delicious. So there are two servings per this container. This is actually a lot though, so I might honestly split this up into two servings. Per serving, 16 grams of fat, four carbs, two fibers, so only two grams of net carbs per serving. That's awesome for pumpkin seeds. Yeah, the ingredients look really good. I am very excited to try these. Also excited to try, geez, there is a lot of stuff this month. The good to go, ugh, it's a raspberry lemon bar, you guys. I don't like fruit flavored things. Like give me chocolate, give me peanut butter, you know, like caramel, if you will. I don't like fruit, but I guess I would try this just because. So for one bar, it is 160 calories, 13 grams of fat, 15 total carbs, seven fiber, five erythritol. So what is that? Three grams of net carbs. Uh, and six grams of proteins. I mean, I'll try this. Wild Bill's smoked, cured, and seasoned pork belly bites, AKA burnt ends. Now guys, y'all know I don't like meat sticks, but I might have to give these little burnt ends a try. I will tell you that. These look delicious. Okay, so there are three servings per this container, 11 grams of fat per serving, two grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. I mean, yeah, like I'm, I'm eating this and I'm really thinking I'm gonna love it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am also here for, I'm gonna have to dump it out. Oh, um, it's stuck, it's jammed in there. How, how do, are you supposed to get this out? Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Magic spoon cereal. I've seen this all over the interwebs. Oh my God, this is the frosted kind. Oh my gosh, I'm going to be enjoying cereal in the very near future. I've seen this all over the internet. I haven't had a chance to buy it yet. Um, so I'm very excited that they included it in the keto crate. My only deal with cereals like this is number one, I already know it's super expensive, but also like the serving size is ridiculous. Like the serving size is three fourths a cup. I'm not having three fourths a cup of this. I might have at least two to three servings of this in one sitting in order to make it like a bowl of cereal that would be worth eating in my opinion. But let's just see for one serving, which is 28 grams, it is 110 calories, six grams of fat, eight total carbs, two grams of fiber. So that's six grams of carbs and 12 grams of protein. It looks like there are no sugar alcohols in here because they're using allulose, monk fruit, and stevia. So that's not counted in the sugars anywhere. Oh, but wait a minute. They're saying that three of those is allulose. So there's only three grams of net carbs per serving. Okay. I see what you do there. I mean, that makes having three servings of this at once a lot more feasible. Like I would be willing to spend nine grams of net carbs on a legitimate bowl of cereal. Cause it's easy to go the rest of the day with low carbs, you know, eat you some beef and butter and boom, you got yourself room for cereal. So that is very exciting. I will definitely try this and I'll probably do a review video on it. Oh my God. And this maze on the back is keeping me entertained for years. Okay guys, this month's keto crate was jam packed. Okay, we got one, two, three, nine, 10, 11 items. Like I am elated, like I am very pleased. And there's a couple of things in here that I already know that I love. And more importantly, a couple of things that I've seen around the way and know that I wanted to try. So I'm so glad that they were included in this month's keto crate. Comment down below which product have you tried? Would you be most excited to try? Which should I try first? Like so many good options. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal preps, weekly what I eat Wednesdays, monthly weigh-ins, monthly keto crate unboxings, and the occasional product review and recipe. You can also find me on Instagram and Facebook at Watch Autumn Keto. Thanks and I'll see you next month.